In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to make a DVD-ROM software box in Inkscape version 0.45. Let's begin. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is grab our polygon tool. I'm going to hold the control key down and drag straight down. Get a shape like this. It's worth noting that if I take our Bezier tool, draw a path like this, down like that. You see that I get a 3D box. That's about the fastest way that I know how to draw a 3D box in Inkscape. So having said that, we're going to use this shape to draw our perspective 3D box. So I'm going to convert this to a path and we're going to take our nodes and we're going to slide these things over here about like this. you see that I pretty much get my 3D box here. Okay. I'm going to bring down some guides. So we're going to need to true this up a little bit. And I'm going to make sure that I go to my file, document properties, snap, and make sure that I have snap points to guides checked. It'll help us keep everything straight. Okay. You can see that it snaps onto our guides. Bring this over here. And this one right here. Bring it up just a little bit more. Okay, and that's pretty much our perspective box right there. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to grab our Bezier tool and I'm going to draw straight down and that will help us a little later. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do a shift pipe to hide our guides. I'm going to go to the file, document properties, uncheck snap to guides. We'll grab our Bezier tool and I'm going to trace right around the shape and I'm going to turn that stroke white so I can see it. I'll zoom in on this corner here and I'm just going to pull this down so I can get this new path just on the inside of our black stroke. There we go. Okay, zoom back out here. I'm going to take this. Oops. Sure, I get just my new path here. Make that stroke black so we can see it. And I'm going to do the same for our cover. Grab our Bezier tool. Go up. Come back down. And go over. Okay. We'll make this stroke white. And I'll zoom in on that as well. And same thing. We just want to bring it just to the inside of the black stroke. There we go. Zoom down below here. There we go. And we'll come over to this corner. And we'll fix this one. Okay. That's probably close enough. We'll take that, we'll move that over, and we'll turn that stroke black as well. Okay, now I'll zoom out just a little bit here. I'll zoom over. <clears throat> Before the screencast, I designed a cover. I just threw together some things here that would uh, that I thought would look fairly decent. 
basically what I have is I have drawn in 2D the cover illustration and the spine illustration. So I'm going to take all of this and ungroup it. It's important that when working with perspective that everything that you draw is a path uh, just before you use the perspective tool. Okay, so I'm going to take just a section right here and we're going to group that together. I'll select our Bezier path, then our spine image, effects, modify path, and we'll do a perspective. It takes just a second. Might get a little error dialog, but it will work in the end. Okay. Got that portion. Now what I'm going to do is select all of this, group this together, select our path, select our image over here, effects, modify path, and we'll do a perspective. And this takes just a moment. And it grays down. That's a compiz effect. That's kind of the same thing as the hourglass and windows. I'm using Richard's Vic 20, so it's a little slower at the moment. And we'll hit OK on that, and we've got that image. So now what I'm going to do, zoom over here, and what we're going to do is we'll do a shift pipe. We're going to turn our guides back on. We'll do document properties, and we'll turn our snap to guides back on. I think that'll help us here. There we go. And we'll do the same over here. Okay, there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to have to adjust some of these images right here. So I'm going to go to File, Document Properties, and uncheck our Snap to Guides. Okay, we'll do a Shift Pipe. I'm going to zoom in on this corner. And I think what I'm going to do is make the stroke white. Now well, that was a bad idea. Let's make that stroke red so I can see it. Okay. We'll take this image and we'll ungroup everything. Okay. We'll take these corners right here. And I've got to adjust these just a little bit. I'll take this corner. I'll delete that. Slide that over. And we'll take this one right here. And we'll slide that into that one. Okay, we'll do the same to the bottom. Fudge that just a little bit. And we take this one and we fudge that just a little. Okay. Now we take this image over here and we ungroup that one. And we do the same thing. You have to move that over, come up here, move that over, take that node and delete it. There we go. Okay, and we'll go fix the other side. That right there. And get the very bottom. This is the last node that we'll adjust. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to take this stroke. We'll turn it black again. Sometimes it helps just to turn things different colors so you can see what you're doing. Okay, now zoom back in on this. Whoops. What I'll do is I don't need these paths anymore. Zoom in on this right here. And this black line that I've drawn in here, we're going to make white. 
we're going to bring it to the front and I'm going to make sure that I don't run over I got my guides turned on here. Let me just, uh, or my snaps, I mean. There we go. Zoom back in on this. This doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be zoomed out so far that uh, you won't see this anyways. Okay, now I'll do my shift pipe again, zoom out, and I'm going to delete these guides. You just double click on your guide, you hit delete, and there you go. Okay, now back to what I was doing with this thing here. I'm going to take this. We'll go to our stroke, that rounded, and we're going to increase the size here. Give this just a little bit of a blur, and I'm also going to take that stroke and make it a radial gradient. Okay. Select that again, drag our gradient up a little higher. Okay, make this just a little fatter. See how that looks here. What I'm trying to do is illustrate a little shine on that corner there. Let me adjust my gradient here. We'll go a little bit more. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Zoom out on this. And I'm going to take the whole thing here and actually, I think what I'll do is duplicate this outside shape. We'll make it black. We'll go to the fill and stroke dialog and we'll give this a 2. Send it well right there. We'll send it to the back. That'll give us a little bit of a drop shadow. And what I'm going to do is just fix that drop shadow just a little bit. So it's not quite so dark. Okay, and I'm going to take this whole thing here. We're going to group it together. And I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. So you can see our finished project product here. And we're going to grab our align distribute. Select page, put that on the page. Let's try it again here. Turn it that way, that way. Okay, so if you're still awake, that's basically our DVD ROM software box. Now, this will work with like a normal software box, uh, one that you'd find at a grocery store or a like an Office Max or anything like that or, or anywhere that you'd buy software. Um, so that's basically how you do it. And if uh, you want to pimp this up just a little bit more, um, you can follow uh, Richard's or Nico's uh, tutorial for creating a uh, reflection down at the bottom. That'll also look nice. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I'm HeTheNext.